For a very long time, there was only one version of Lizzie, and that was just the regular black Lizzie that you can see here. But in 2013, Mattel released Wedding Day Lizzie, and as you can see, she looks amazing. It's not a minor paint change or anything like that. She is dapped out in her wedding gown and just looks great. One of my favorite all-time cars, and so I'm very, very happy to be reviewing her today along with Stanley as well. So let's jump right into today's birthday request. Happy birthday, Raymond McQueen Lover 10. I hope you're having a great day today. And if you're watching this after your birthday, I hope you had a good day. And maybe, just maybe, you got some cars or planes, maybe some money or an electronic device for your birthday. Let me know in the comment section below. And if anyone else would like to make their own birthday request, feel free to do so, but watch the video in the description below. It's right at the top. You can't miss it. And in about 11 minutes, you'll be a pro at making suggestions and, of course, birthday requests as well. So let's dive right into the review here of Wedding Day Stanley and Wedding Day Lizzie. So if you guys don't know, they were released in a Disneyland exclusive box set for 2013. There was another box set as well that included these three. We have Stanley, McQueen with opening hood, and Mater with clock, all in a sepia tone. Now, if you guys don't already know, all of the cars that I just showed, these three, and the Wedding Day Stanley and Lizzie, are from the Cars Tune Short Time Travel Mater. That was the last short to be focused around Mater. And you guys know there was Mater the Greater, Rescue Squad Mater, El Mater Door, and the list goes on. Time Travel Mater was just the last one. And I feel like it was one of the best because, in all honesty, it was more focused around Stanley and the backstory with him and Lizzie more than it really was with Mater. So that's why I really do like it. And nowadays they don't do shorts revolved around Mater anymore. They just do regular basic ones like Radiator Springs 500. That was just a race more mainly focused around Lightning McQueen. And I did do an unboxing review of both of these sets back in 2013 when they came out. But as you guys know, my channel wasn't that professional back then and my voice was kind of high. But if you would like to search my channel to see those videos, check out the packaging and whatnot, feel free to do so. I do talk a little bit more uh, about the information and whatnot and how I got them. And I just got them from a friend who works with the Disney parks. So that's really all for their release. And now onto their appearance. They did obviously appear in Time Travel Mater, getting married, kind of going through the flashbacks during that short. You really need to watch that short to understand what I'm talking about here. So now let's get on with the review of Hmm, I'll go with Stanley first because I made that whole deal about Lizzie at the beginning of the video, so I'll save her for last. And now let's take a look at Stanley's features. Right off the bat, you can see that he has the look of having a tuxedo on. Kind of the car's equivalent of a tuxedo with the gold trim here on the front, on the hubcaps there as well. He has white tires, which just look amazing. Love the gold handles there as well. And toward the back here, we can see the just married sign along with his license plate that reads 1015, a very small number there because it was back in the day. And he does have the tailing cans here, which is something that a lot of couples did when they went on their honeymoon. They would attach cans to the back of the vehicle that they were driving in to celebrate their marriage. I don't really think many people do that anymore though, but what do I really know about that kind of stuff? And he does have this roll down thing right here. Don't really know what that is for either, but it's a nice addition. And he does have the kind of storage in here like he did with the C. Sepia Tone Stanley, 
as you can see they're very very similar just different paint schemes and obviously the sepia version does not have the just married sign nor the tailing cans now i do have something to point out about the license plates here as you can see this one reads 5101 and the other one reads 1015 so this could be an error on either one of mine but i'm not sure which one would be correct and which one would be the mistake so if you do have these in your collection first of all congratulations because they're very very hard to get and second please check yours out and let me know if I have an error here or they're just all like this. I'm really curious now because I never noticed that their license plates were different until I literally just got to comparing them. So yeah, let's move on to the rest of them now. As you can see, the tires and the wheels are the same. They just have different colors, obviously white instead of black, black instead of brown, gold instead of brown as well so they're both very very nice i have to say i like the expression on the sepia stanley more than i do on the wedding day version but they're still both very very nice and on both of them the only part that is metal is this portion right here that my thumb kind of goes around the back portion is plastic and that is why it is kept together with a screw and not a rivet like the front portions are so that's pretty much all for wedding day stanley i do want to show the stanley statue even though they're both very very different i mean is definitely something that you guys are most likely aware of and therefore I want to compare it to the actual Stanley's they do have some similar features and some differences as well. I feel like the main difference is how the body is shaped differently on the statue than on the actual cars, but that may just be because it's a statue and not an actual car. So now let's move on to Wedding Day at Lizzie. My favorite from this set, obviously, looking very, very nice here, all decked out in white. You can see that she's wearing a wedding gown. She has the veil on, the pink bouquet of flowers, and to clarify the veil, there are gears on it instead of, for example, flowers, because in real life, the veil would typically have flowers on it. So to clarify it, you gotta add some gears. So I really do like that feature about her. And on the back, we can see her license plate, MT23 standing for model T 1923 and it does say MI toward the right there and she has a red tail light. She kind of reminds me of an ice racer or a snow car because of these white tires. Man, they just look amazing. I just love them so much. And here's the base. If you're interested, you can't really read any of the writing, but it's just your typical stuff. And here's the base of Stanley. I forgot to show it earlier. Just, you know, your typical stuff made in China, Disney Pixar, Netherlands address and the date stamp there and that is pretty much all for wedding day Lizzie herself now to compare her to your regular Lizzie that has been released many times since 2006 and has remained to be one of the most popular townies and as you can see same thing with Stanley and the sepia Stanley they have the same look, just different accessories, different paint job, stuff like that. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Let's move on to the back now. And like I said earlier, they're very, very similar, just different colors. And obviously the wedding day version has some additional features. So that is all for Wedding Day Lizzie and Wedding Day Stanley. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. I definitely prefer Wedding Day Lizzie, but maybe you like Wedding Day Stanley better. So let me know 
down below. And thank you for watching as always. I hope you all enjoyed and thanks again for the birthday request. Raymond McQueen Lover 10. Hopefully you had a great day and this video made it even better. So I'll see you guys next time for another video. I know, very surprising. I'm on a break from YouTube, yet I did two videos in one day. Kind of crazy, but that's just how it worked out with a birthday request being on the day that I really, really, really wanted to upload on. So maybe I'll try to upload on Monday or Tuesday, maybe Jay Lowly, maybe a canceled car, maybe a movie moment car, because I have all of those now. We'll just have to wait and see. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.